This morning in the kitchen, Go Providence has brought us Chef Robert from Guard, and we are making a short rib dish with some cauliflower puree and, and a whole bunch of other things, too. We're going to get to the ingredients in just a bit, but welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Guard actually is consists of like four different places, right? So for those who aren't familiar, remind everyone at home. Yep. So Guard is the Providence G building, which we have the rooftop, we have the ballroom, we have Guard, and we have uh, the Providence G pub. All perfect for this time of year, too, which we'll get to that. We'll talk more details about Christmas and New yeah. Year's celebrations a little later on in the show. But for now, we want to go over all the ingredients that we need for this recipe. So take us through them. Yeah, so we're going to make a braised short rib. Uh, the short ribs are local from uh, Blackbird Farm in nice. Smithfield. How yeah. important is it for you to get local things, especially something like meat? It's very important. We work with a lot of local vendors. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's really, really important to us, and you know, it's good to know where your where your meat comes from. Perfect. You know, what so else we do have uh, so braised short ribs. This mm -hmm. is what's called Romanesco. This is this is beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of a cross between a uh, broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. Okay, I like all three. So pretty much, you know, it's the braised short ribs. We got a little bit of onion, carrot, celery, and garlic. Mm -hmm. um, some veal stock, oysters, beef broth, red wine, and port wine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate this all together. Usually you let it sit for about 48 hours, two days or so. You really let the, the red wine soak into the meat mm -hmm. and then braise it. And you can, you know, if you're looking to do something with a crock pot, this is perfect. That's a good tip. I love yeah. crock pot cooking. Now, if you don't necessarily have to do the combination of both, if you nope. particularly have one or the other at yeah, home, you can, is it okay to use one? You can use just red wine, it's fine. Pork okay. gives a little bit of sweetness. You can add a little sugar if you need. Yeah. All right, perfect. Good tips there. We're going to get cooking in just a bit. We are back with Chef Robert from Guard. Thanks so much to Go Providence for bringing him back in with us. Now, if you saw in the last segment, the beef that we're using today looks uh, quite different now. Yes. <laughs> so, a break, I took all the took the fresh short ribs and marinated with the red wine and the mm -hmm. port. Um, there's some fall spices in there too, winter spices, some juniper, some clove, I put wow. a little orange zest, lemon zest. So, Smells wonderful. So you want to marinate this for at least two days. Okay. You can do one day, but I would probably recommend at least two. Because as you can see, the meat really takes on the, the red wine. It's purple now. Yeah. That so, is really cool. Quite it, the difference there. And we're going to get this going in the... Uh, yep, in a Dutch in oven. Our... So this basically also it, 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 uh, marinates it and it really cures it and mm -hmm. tenderizes it. Okay. But you do save all the liquid too. So what we want to do is we'll get the pan nice and hot. We'll season this with a, lot, a good amount of salt and pepper. I like that you marinate the veggies too. Yeah, I feel because like the I've veggies never... really take on the flavor of, of well, the wine. whatever. Yeah. yeah, whatever you put them with. Do you want to get your pan really, really hot? Oh yeah, you want to hear that? It says I'll turn the fan on too for Thank you, Jeff. You. Don't want to say any smoke alarms off in here. Just do like, it? well, I know that's always a joke in the Johnson house. The dinner's so, ready when the smoke alarm goes off. You never off, want right? to overcrowd your pan either. If you put too much at one time, you'll start to steam steam the meat. So you really want to get a nice, huh. nice hard sear on it. So okay. I know it looks really smoky, but you kind of want that. Yeah. You know, with the red wine, it's going to leak out a little bit, so if the pan's not too hot, again, it'll start to steam. So That's really, going to add to that flavor, too. Yeah, big time. So really, we want to sear each side. Mm -hmm. We'll pull all the meat out, and then we'll roast all the vegetables and the red wine. Okay. So Basically, those will get we'll, added we'll, in there, too? Yeah, we'll leave this here. For, we're going to sear all the meat. Okay. Pull it out, strain this, and then we're going to roast the vegetables afterwards and add the meat back in. And because you, you mentioned earlier this is a good crock pot dish because it does take quite a while for this to, to really break down. Yep, after you sear it and add everything it's going to still take about another four or five hours to finish cooking. Okay, yeah. perfect. Whether you have a Dutch oven at home or a crock pot, you can get cooking with this recipe. We're going to finish it when we come back. Show Kitchen is a place to be this morning. Thanks to our friends at Go Providence. Chef Roberts here. Guard Providence uh, and the Providence G is uh, is the restaurant. Braised short ribs is what we're making. You've had these going for a long time. Nothing better than that. They like fall right off the rib. Mm. Yeah, it's nothing yeah. better than short ribs. We actually took it off the bone and cooked it that way um, for presentation wise okay. for Guard. Yeah. So this is one dish we will be doing for New Year's New Year's Eve at Guard. Gosh, it's gonna be here before you know it. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you believe New Year's Eve is only I, a few weeks away? No, it seems no. like it was just Halloween yeah. or you know some other holiday. In, in the summertime. But I'm yeah. sure there are a lot of people out there that are thinking the same thing and now going, I need plans. I need yeah. to make plans or I have a group together. Where should we go? There, you actually have a bunch of different options. Yeah, so the Providence Sheet, we have four different parties going on. Wow. Yeah, so you can do the rooftop, which actually is almost sold out already. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't gotten tickets there, you better get them soon. Okay. Uh, the ballroom is a great place for 
to spend New Year's, Guard, and the, and, uh, the Providence Jeep Hub as well. All great places, too, mm -hmm. if yeah. anyone hasn't been to check out any of those. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of great people hanging out there. There's really uh, something for everybody with yeah. three venues. It's, right. a lot, it's a lot of fun. Right. And you're not going to yeah. freeze on the rooftop. It's totally covered. Yes. No. Nope. Nope. like to want, throw that out there. If you want to go outside <laughs> to the fire pits, they're really warm, but, mm -hmm. you know. Get a breath of fresh air, too. Yeah. So well, great. When we finish the dish that we're doing at Guard. Okay. okay. So we made a little cauliflower puree. This was the shore ribs that mm -hmm. you know, I said it takes about four or five hours, but right. you know, good I'll, crock pot meal. Like again, like you said. Yep, I like to do it in Dutch oven. Crock pot mm -hmm. is great, and then I roasted some of that Romanesco cauliflower, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter. That looks so good. I've never had that before. It looks really good. Yeah, it's great. It's a cross between cauliflower, broccoli, and mm -hmm. bro baby Brussels. Okay. And they, you don't really need to do much to these because they're beautiful on their own for presentation wise. Yeah, you don't want to overcook them because if you overcook them, then they're going to turn brown and not going to look as nice. Okay. You know, unless unless you like really soft vegetables, add a little bit of water, kind of like I did, and mm -hmm. then it'll help steam it. Perfect. All right. So, a nice plate. Put that on. Yeah. Again, this is a little cauliflower puree. For a guard, we're probably going to throw a little bit of fresh black truffles on top if you, uh, you want. Yum. How on. did you make that puree? Because that is so smooth. So that is just milk, a little bit of cream, butter, uh, cauliflower, just cooked all the way down. Mm -hmm. And then um, puree. once it's cooked, puree it in a blender. Great. That looks so good. So you see how tender they are. They're just falling off the bone. That's what you want, though. Yeah. For anyone who hasn't made short ribs before, what do you when you go to the market? What do you need to look for when you're trying to get the right short ribs and making sure that they're not tough? Mm -hmm. I mean, you are you are looking for marbling. Um, you can see, you can see like some of the white connective tissue inside mm -hmm. inside what you look kind of what you're looking for. Um, but thing with short ribs is making sure they're marinated in there and that they're uh, they'll help tenderize them. Just, yeah. Just a little bit of breadcrumbs on top, just a little bit of texture, because this way it's not so soft. Did you toast those breadcrumbs before? I did before? toast them, a little bit of olive oil. I actually added a little bit of lemon zest, orange zest, and lime zest to give it a little bit of fragrance. I wouldn't think that citrus would pair well with the beef. Especially because it's hot now, mm -hmm. the citrus is going to help it come out. Okay. Those look so nice. They're like little, so, like, little, little Christmas trees. Little yeah, Christmas trees. they look yeah. so good. Little Christmas trees. And you get those any place? Yeah, Whole, whole Foods oh, has them. Really, oh, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about Whole Foods, so. Yeah, yeah I know. Whole Foods. Yeah. Get your cheese, when, when you and then your After you get your cheese, get your own yeah. masco. And then this is a little bit of micro red vein sorrel that we like to just use for a little bit of garnish to give it another bit of color. Are they sitting like that in your restaurant with the uh, the roots there all yeah, attached? We, we leave them with a little bit of water on the bottom. This uh -huh. way it's... Uh, this way they stay alive, you know, as it's so hot in the kitchen. Yeah. This is so, that's something too that maybe folks at home could grow around this time of year. If you, you want to grow can. your own herbs. I, and I, have things. Some Look at that. I have some chef friends that actually grow them themselves. Yeah. You know? It's such that a looks great so, idea. So so good. All right, can yeah. I have a hand? Yes, 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 yes. I see you. Give this you would have picked it up wait, with your give hand. This a shot. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait, hang, wait, wait. On, hang on, hang on, what are you doing? So we marinated the the short herbs in red wine, but we made sure we saved just a little bit. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Here you go, Well, I'm gonna reach behind give you that. I don't even know if you'll need a knife, to be honest. Yeah, you probably won't. It's probably just going to kind of break apart here. And it does. Oh, my. goes through like butter. All right. I get the small glass because I have a long day. <laughs> okay. Well, there, there you go. go. Wow. There you go. And, and red, I'm sure, would pair nicely Yeah, this is the, this, so this is Pinot Noir. Yeah. So it's basically, you know, this is a classic dish from beef bourguignon, mm -hmm. which is, you know, uh, the Burgundy region of France. That is so, so good. So it kind of all goes together. That is so good. So yeah. such great taste on there. We'll try one of these. Look so, at that. Yeah. Well, that Christmas tree is real. Mm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a it's fake not one the, on not there, yeah. The the <laughs> That's also great. really good. Like you said, broccoli. Yeah. A little broccoli, Brussels sprouts. Broccoli, a little nutty flavor. Perfect. Delicious. Okay, happy holidays. Cheers. Happy, happy cheers. holidays. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays. You can enjoy this Delicious recipe, stuff. too, oh with God, you and so your good. family for the holidays. You can find it on roadshow.com.